In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to fix DirectX 12 Ultimate Disabled. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along. First, to start this process, I recommend that you run the Windows tool here. So press Windows plus R to open up the Run window, or simply look for Run on the Windows search bar, and then run DXDiag. You might already be at this window if you know that Ultimate is disabled, but for people who don't know about the tool, this is what you have to do. Once you run the DirectX Diagnostic tool, you will be able to go to the second page display and see if DirectX 12 Ultimate is enabled on your system. Now, before I start teaching you the methods to actually fix this issue, I want to make it obviously clear that on newer hardware, DirectX 12 Ultimate is going to be enabled by default. So what I'm trying to say is that if DirectX 12 Ultimate is disabled for you, usually it is because you have older hardware. For example, you, if you have GTX cards from NVIDIA instead of RTX, this feature is not going to be natively enabled. And because you simply have to update the hardware, there isn't any sort of troubleshooting that you can do. So most of the time, if you have older hardware, there is no solution to your problem. I want to make that obviously clear. However, if you have newer hardware, for example, this RTX or RX that I have, or if you have something like an RTX GPU and DirectX 12 Ultimate is still disabled, follow these methods. First, visit the Microsoft website and download DirectX. You will be able to find it by using the search function or going on Google and simply looking for Microsoft DirectX. Download the dxwebsetup.exe, run this file and follow through the installation process. All you have to do is accept the agreement and then spam the next button. Just click next, 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 read through the instructions and after this process is done, restart your computer. This is going to ensure that you have the latest possible version of DirectX 12 and the features will be turned on automatically if you have newer modern hardware. So like I said, it isn't something that you can manually turn on or off. By having the latest version of DirectX, it is going to be enabled by default. With this out of the way, the next thing to do is to update your display adapters. So on the DirectX Diagnostic tool, the name of your display adapter or GPU should be here. So for me, it is the AMD Radeon RX 7900 XTX. All that I have to do is visit the official AMD website, browse through the drivers and find my specific model. Of course, if you have something like an NVIDIA GPU, the process is the same, but instead on the NVIDIA website. So select the series, for example, the 40 series, 4080, and then download the drivers. Once this process is done and you restart your machine, it should be enabled by default. If it still isn't enabled, the problem correlates to your hardware like I said. It isn't a hard feature to turn on and like I said, it is enabled by default on Windows. So the problem mostly happens if you have hardware that is not compatible with the feature and if that's the case, then there's nothing that you can do besides updating your hardware. I hope I was able to help you on how to fix DirectX 12 Ultimate Disabled. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.